Toby Keith has died at the age of 62. Here's everything you need to know about the life and career of this iconic country singer. On February 6, 2024, Toby Keith's family announced via his official X account that the singer had died of cancer. The statement read, Toby Keith passed peacefully last night on February 5th, surrounded by his family. He fought his fight with grace and courage. Please respect the privacy of his family at this time. Born Toby Keith Covell on July 8, 1961 in Clinton, Oklahoma, Keith was an oil worker and a football player before making a career of his lifelong love of music. He made his name in the early 1990s with his platinum-selling self-titled album and went on to have several more hit albums and singles throughout the decade. His 2001 hit, Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue, was written in response to the September 11th terror attacks and soon became an anthem for the U.S. military. Keith once told Entertainment Weekly that he'd played more than 200 USO shows in Iran and Afghanistan. With a successful career in country music that spanned three decades, Keith grew up and lived his entire life in Oklahoma. His songs, most of which he wrote, tell tales of good times, exude his love of the U.S., and embody messages that ring true to his experience. According to the Songwriter Hall of Fame, in which he was inducted in 2015, Keith released a country chart-topping single each year for two straight decades. Keith announced that he'd been diagnosed with stomach cancer in 2022. I'm not going to let this define what my future is. He first came onto the scene in 1993 with his hit Should Have Been a Cowboy. Since then, he's sold 40 million albums, and 20 of his songs have reached number one status, including 2018's Don't Let the Old Man In, a song inspired by a conversation with Clint Eastwood that year. Apparently, the iconic actor and director had told Keith that the way he keeps going at his advanced age is, I get up every day and I don't let the old man in. And Keith was subsequently inspired to write the song, telling the Tennessean, I knew the song could be powerful and I didn't want to leave any stone unturned. The second I wrote it, it was like I jumped 500 feet in the air. I knew I had accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Keith, looking notably thin, performed the song about living life to the fullest at the 2023 People's Choice Country Awards, where it took on an elevated poignancy due to his cancer diagnosis. That performance catapulted the song to the top of the charts five years after it was released. Meanwhile, Keith's music resonated with fans for its support of the military and its rowdy barroom appeal. Songs like Red Solo Cup and I Love This Bar are simple and relatable, lending themselves to sing-alongs. American Soldier and Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue are anthems honoring the men and women in the armed forces, and Made in America pays homage to being true to America and patriotism. Keith is also known for playing shows for right-wing causes, including the NRA and the Make America Great Again Welcome Celebration in 2017. That said, he told the Chicago Tribune in 2016 that he was a longtime Democrat who later became a registered independent. He said his fans knew he was middle but right of center politically, adding, People don't know you. They just want to label you. As for his personal life, Keith married his wife Trisha Lucas in 1984. The couple had met at a bar when she was 19 and he was 20. Lucas told People Magazine, He was just one of those larger-than-life guys, full of confidence. Lucas already had a daughter by then, whom Keith adopted, and the pair had another daughter and son together. At the time of his death, Keith also had two grandchildren. Just one day before his death announcement, Keith posted on Instagram a video shot from behind. He was standing on stage and holding up his guitar to a cheering audience with the caption, And that's a wrap on the weekend, y'all. Back to it.